Dale Kelleher live outside Fenway Park, where the fans have since dispersed off Jersey Street after the Red Sox 6-4 victory against the Tampa Bay Rays. Raphael Devers had himself a game, going 3-4 for four with a home run and a double. We are in the top of the eighth inning. Red Sox lead the Rays 5-4 with no outs, a man on second, and a 3-1 count. Here's the pitch. Chop down the third base side. Devers charges, tags the base runner, throws to first for an unassisted double play. That's quite the two for one here for Devers as he gets that base runner who left from second base with no one behind him. He should have stayed put. Let's see that again. Devers attacks the ball almost on the infield grass, throws it with a quick release over to first base for the double play. Chris Sale, on his road to recovery, came in and pitched the last two innings where he had six straight outs and no hits. Now let's head over to the Garden. Celtics picked up a victory tonight against the Milwaukee Bucks, 116-105. to Jason Tatum dropped 40 points in the Celtics' win, and he had a crucial play at the end of the third quarter where he blocked the shot and then hit two threes in the final seconds. But I think that Jason Tatum's defense is um, beyond his years. I mean, he's, he's very savvy. He's proven to be a, a real asset on the defensive end. Jason Tatum was tonight's star of the game. Reporting live from the TD Garden in Boston, Janelle Kelleher, WCVB News Center 5.